For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com All right, guys, we're going to do these problems that uh, they tell you to basically do these conversions. So we're going to do part A first. They want you to convert 200 pounds per times uh, foot pounds. They want you to convert it to uh, Newton meters. So in order to do that, first thing we're going to do is we know that in 2.21 pounds, there is one kilogram. So we get rid of the pounds and we got kilograms. Now with that we got kilograms, we can reach Newtons just by multiplying by 9.81. But first we're gonna convert our feet to meters. So you know that in one foot, there's 12 inches. And you know that in one inch, there is 2.54 centimeters. And you know that in 100 centimeters, there is a meter. So now we get rid of the feet, we get rid of the inch, and we get rid of the centimeters. So what we have is kilograms times meter. So what we need to do to convert kilograms uh, times meters into newtons, uh, newton meters, what you need to do is multiply by 9.81 meters per second square since you know that one newton is equal to a kilogram times meter per second square and when you plug all these numbers into your calculator you're gonna get that this is equal to 271 newton meters the second problem which is b you have 350 pounds per cubic feet and you need to convert it into kilonewtons per cubic meter. So first thing you need to do is get rid of the pounds. You know that in one pound, I'm sorry, 2.21 pounds, there is one kilogram. And to go from kilograms to newtons, you multiply by 9.81 meters per second square. Now you got feet at the bottom, so you know that in one foot there's 12 inches, and you know that in one inch there's 2.54 centimeters, and you know that in 100 centimeters there's a meter. However, you got cubic feet, so this has to be cubed to be able to cancel. Now you have cubic inches, which means this has to be cubed to be able to cancel. And you got cubic centimeters, which means this has to be cubed to be able to cancel. And then you also know that in one kilonewton, there is 1,000 newtons because one kilogram uh, per meter per second square right here's one newton but they want the answer in kilonewtons so when you plug these numbers into your calculator you're gonna get that this is equal to 54.9 kilonewtons and see you have eight feet per hour and they want it in millimeters per second so let's get rid of the feet first you know that in one foot there's 12 inches and you know that in 2.54 inches there's one centimeter and you know that in one centimeter there's 10 millimeters Now you got an hour, uh, we got rid of the feet, we got rid of the inches, we got rid of the centimeters. So finally we got millimeters. Now we need to get rid of the hour and convert it to seconds. So you know that in one hour, there is 60 minutes. And in one minute, there is 60 seconds. 
So once you plug all these numbers in, you're going to get that this is equal to 0 0.677 millimeters per second. Final answer for C, final answer for B, and final answer for A. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.